did you know you're having a heart attack? I, I said, no way, no, no, this can't be happening to me. I just, I felt good. I didn't feel sick. I had my hands up over my head and I brought them down and electricity just flowed through my body. And I thought, well, that's weird. I don't get what's going on. Well, then I immediately felt ill. And then it just, I just felt achy. I mean, I didn't have no, no chest pain, no heaviness. I did have a backache. But I just went ahead, did some Tylenol. Four days later, I was good as gold. Remarkably, one year later, same time, I'm all stressed out about Christmas. And believe it or not, all of a sudden, the symptoms came back. Still no sharp pain, no chest. Mm -mm. It was the back, my back, my neck. But I'm just thinking, oh, I had it last year. I survived. I can go on. Then on Wednesday, I started getting this little twinge of a pain, not on by my heart, but over on my right-hand side on my chest. And I'm like, that's it. I'm calling the doctor. So I went over to East Central Health Clinic, my primary care physician. You know, maybe you should come in for an EKG. You know, ease your mind a little bit. I said, yes, I think I need to. So then I went and had the EKG. She just says, I want to let you know, just you just need to go to the ER. And I said, okay, I will. And she goes, you want somebody to drive you there? I said, no. I said, I want to drive myself because I need to reflect. And to tell you the truth, I wanted one last cigarette. As I was driving myself over there, I honestly thought about having that cigarette. But I didn't. I got there and I said, well, this is it. I have a feeling I'm going to be put in the hospital. <laughs> they hooked me up and they said, did you know you're having a heart attack? And the doctor also said, did you know you've already had a heart attack before? I said, oh no. And I don't feel like I'm having a heart attack now. So then I did go to UNMC and they said, yes, you've done so much damage to your heart because I waited too long. It made me tell myself, why didn't you get serious about your, your, all your conditions, all the red flags I was going through? Why did you not just take that serious? You could definitely tell her health was declining throughout that whole period. Um, of course, she was still positive, you know, grateful to the doctor. She always was so thankful, but you could definitely tell her energy level was just barely there. I told God, I said, I said, God, I don't mean to be selfish, but my family is very important to me and I still have so many things I want to see and do with my five children and I have one granddaughter. And so I said, I'm, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. She never really gave up. Even after the second or third call of the heart transplant, she was like, it's meant to be, it's meant for a reason, it'll come next time. Like, there was no doubt in her mind that anything bad was gonna happen somehow. And this was it. It was the fourth heart that was meant to be for Susan, to be a survivor. I am 100% on top of the world. I feel oh so healthy, so happy. I can keep up with my daughter that's only 25 years old. And before I was I was walking, you know, a mile behind her, but now I actually have my steps with her steps. Honestly, it's amazing. Uh, just her today is amazing. Like she's changed so much since 2018 that 
everything about her just brings positivity. When I'm down, she is so positive, like, you know, you know you're fine, you're gonna make it through. And even just looking at everything she's gone through makes me feel like if she can do it, I can do it. It's just a miracle to me, and, and so I'm blessed every single day. I thank God, I thank everyone that has helped me along my way. It took the doctors, it took cardiac rehab at the Columbus Hospital, and their cardiac rehab team is remarkable. American Heart Association, if it wasn't for them with all the funding, I mean, because they do all this research on the heart. Education for no smoking, um, the way you should eat. And it took me to have go through all this to be able to speak out and, and have people be aware that, you know, women have it much different than men when it does come to heart attacks. And I'm, I'm one of those people that I, I don't know how to thank everybody enough for what they've done for me. Mom, thank you so much for making it through. I honestly don't know what I would do without you. Um, you're my best friend. I just can't imagine life without you, so I'm so happy that you made it through. You kept a positive attitude. You know, you were always there for me, even though you were the one who were who was sick and having a hard time. You were still that positive light and helping us all through this whole process. And I'm so glad that you are here today and a better person for it.